Hey you guys, Sade Jernigan here with lashesinatube.com. I'm gonna be talking a little bit quiet because Luke just went for bed, but I am so, so excited that we just came out with a beach set. It's a limited edition set that is perfect for the summertime. And I'm so excited. So it comes out really, really soon in a couple few days. And I'm taking a pre-order list. And all of these products have a cooling sensation, which is really, really nice because it's summer. Hi, Dottie. So um, right now I'm putting on BB cream. <laughs> so what it comes with, you guys, is you can get this set and you can get two makeup brushes for free if you get the beach set. Okay, and what comes in the beach set, you guys, is um, a primer slash setting product. So it's a two-in-one. So you can put on that powder. It's going to, before you do your makeup, and it's going to help fill in those pores, fine lines, and make your makeup going way smoother. And then you can also use that same product to set your makeup. So set your makeup after you put it on for it to stay better. So that's the first item in there. The second item, you guys, is our our lip butters. So the lip butters are so pretty. I posted the different colors it comes with, but it is so good for you. Amazing ingredients. It has like shea butter, coconut oil, jojoba oil, I believe, like all kinds of goodness in there that are that is so healthy for your lips and then it gives you this pretty um, lip color. Perfect for in the summertime. And then the other product that it comes with is you get to choose between a bronzer, a blush, or a highlighter. And all these products, you guys, have a cooling sensation. So you know for this hot summer, it's gonna be so, so nice. So if you get that beach set, you guys, then you're gonna get two free makeup brushes, which is over a $50 value, which is amazing. So anyways, comment below beach set if you wanna grab that. Oops. <laughs> and I will make sure to get you on there. So really quick, what I just put on is our BB cream. And as you can see, it still covers pretty good, even though it's a tinted moisturizer. And it's just perfect for the summer. Um, sometimes we're out in the sun and, you know, we just don't want to put on any like foundation. So it's just a tinted moisturizer. And, um, what you can do if you want to add a little bit more coverage is add on a little bit of concealer. That's what I like to do. So I'm going to do that in a second here, but you guys, hi Morgan. How are you? Um, I really, really am excited about these new products coming out. Love my BB cream. I've actually been wearing it a lot lately, and it's just so easy. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is because my I have dark around my eyes, so I like to take this concealer really quick and just put it around my eye area to really brighten it up. You can see that darkness it takes away, and then... Um, Boom. Look at the brightness it gives. Hi, Carrie. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this keeps happening. I don't know why my phone doesn't want to stay today. Okay. <laughs> my husband's laughing at me. Okay. So, um, I know. <laughs> um, anyways, can, can't you see the difference? Isn't that amazing? So it just brightens up my eye area. You can get a concealer a little bit lighter than your foundation if you want to brighten up your eye area. How are you doing, Carrie? Okay, and I have a little bit of breakouts right here. So as you can see, I use the tinted BB cream moisturizer, right? Tinted moisturizer enhances your complexion, gives you that nice glow, because I feel like during the summer, we want a bit of a glow, a dewy look sometimes, or at least that's what I like. And so it just looks really, really nice. Um, to blend in my concealer, I love this blending bud. It is my favorite, because it removes any excess product so it's not cakey. And um, I'm actually giving these out free for any orders made this, this weekend. I'm giving free blending buds. So look at that. 
So anyway, so I blend it all together. And then one of my favorite parts, you guys, is, oh, I have a breakout here real quick. But anyways, what I love to do is I love our tinted, I love our tinted setting powder that has SPF. So because the number one cause of aging is the sun, I want to make sure I have some SPF, but I really don't want to put on um, sunscreen on my face because it's super greasy and oily. Hi, Taylor. It's greasy and yucky, but you don't have to worry because you can do the setting powder really easy, you guys, and keep it in your purse. And it's going to set your makeup, make your makeup look more flawless, less wrinkles, less pores. But also I get one a little bit darker than my skin tone, so it looks like I have a bit of a tan. So look at my face now, what it looks like. And then I'm going to put this on. You're, you're going to see it gives me color. Um, you're excited, and now you're turned because of the kudos in the beachfront line. I know, isn't it exciting? You're torn. You're torn between the two, right? I know, it's so hard. So, as you see, I shake it. It puts a little bit of the product there. And then I'm gonna just put this setting powder on. And do you see how it's a little bit darker? It matches my body more because I have um, a self tanner on right now. But I love to put this setting powder on, protecting me from the rays of the sun, giving me some color and then making my makeup look more flawless. I love it. It is so nice to keep in your purse on the go. So say if you're at Disneyland or whatever you're doing the beach, you can keep this in your purse and do, if you feel like you need some more sunblock on your face, then you could just, you know, get it out of your purse because it has a brush built on it, okay? So this way you don't have to get powder out and a makeup brush and make it all complicated, right? All you do is you just grab this, you shake it a little bit, and then you just apply it and it's so easy. And do you see how it's adding some color to my face? I know, don't you want both, Morgan? It's so hard. Anyways, I'm just caking it on. Giving me that color. And when I use this, you don't even need to use a bronzer because I feel like if you're using one that's a little bit darker than your skin color, you don't really need a bronzer, you guys. Okay? Because you have this. And I know I'm putting on a lot. I just want to make sure I get it out. Anyways. Because I'm protecting myself from the skin has SPF, I like to put a lot to make sure that I didn't miss anywhere. Because I don't want sunspots on my face or damaged. Um, but there is something that you can do about that. If you already have sunspots on your face and you want to help diminish the, the sun um, damage, our skincare line can help with that as well especially the exfoliating mask and the detox mask when you use both of those you're gonna really see how your skin will look younger so what I'm gonna do now oh and what some items that I like to keep in my purse is of course this setting powder right with the SPF but I also like to keep my stick foundation in my purse if I want to touch that up it's really nice. Um, it does wear all day, but if you cake on moisturizer like me, it's you wanna make sure you're setting your makeup because your makeup's gonna stay on better if you use a primer and it's gonna stay on better if you use a setting powder. So if you want the Beach Set, the Beach Set has an all-in-one powder that is for primer and setting. So you can use that powder to put on your skin before you put on your makeup as your primer and then you can put it on after you do your makeup for your setting product so it's like a two-in-one product so that way um, a lot of times people are trying to simplify their makeup routine during the summer so if you want to simplify it it's good to get these this beach bundle um, okay so I'm gonna do my brows real quick 
Okay, and I like to use the pencil. I just outline the bottom, then I outline the top, but I start here. I don't start all the way in. Okay. Hi, Mom. How are you? Thanks, guys, for popping on. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush and fill those in. What are you guys, Morgan and my mom, what are you guys doing today? Okay, so outline the bottom. Outline the top. And then you're just going to fill in. What are you guys doing today? Oh my goodness, I have to get ready for my trip to Utah. I'm leaving Monday morning at 4, no, sorry. I'm Monday morning at 2.40 a.m. Like, that's not even when I'm waking up. That's when I'm leaving my house. 2.40. Hi, Mariah. 2.40 a.m., you guys, is when I'm leaving. <laughs> kind of crazy. So what do you do if when you wake up is around the time you go to bed sometimes? <laughs> what would you do? So it's a Monday that I have to wake up at 2 something to catch the plane and the reason why I had to make it those times is it was the only one that was going to work. So otherwise I would have been late to where I need to be. So I'm hoping, Morgan, that when I get back from Unified that I could take lots of notes and bring a lot of information back to help you guys and with your businesses. And that's kind of like the point of it too is to go and and um, learn more on how to become a better leader for your team. And that way I can share that for you guys. I can share that with you guys, I mean, so that we can all learn more together. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Just a lazy day. Yes, pretty much for me, I am sending out packaging um, for my customers that ordered um, or getting all that stuff packaged like the 40 and getting ready for my trip so nothing too crazy I think we may go to Costco um, let's see I am gonna do where's my eyeliner where's my eyeliner here's lip liner Let's see here. I don't know where I put it. Oh, Morgan, you're so sweet. I appreciate that. That means so much. I want to do the best that I can for you guys. So I want to go get some information and then share it with you. And hopefully we can all be better leaders. Always striving, right? Hi, Cassandra. Okay, so, oh, duh, I have to do my eyeshadow first. I am still in love with this beloved palette we had in the month of February, and I still am absolutely in love with the shades. They are so pretty. I know I love Costco. It's dangerous, though. You better go in with the list, or you may come out with $300 worth of stuff. <laughs> $600, yeah, go out with $600 worth of stuff. <laughs> So I'm going to use this one. And you guys, let me tell you about this cre crease brush. This is a crease slash blending brush. It is my favorite brush. And I used to have multiple brushes, one for blending, one for the corner, one for like all these eye brushes for different things. And I now switch to one eye brush and simplify because it is a wonderful crease brush where it gets really, really good in that crease. And then also it works as a blending. Blending, it's a good blender to blend all the colors together that you're using. And then it also works really, really well for just applying normal eyeshadow. So I now pretty much just use this one, this one brush 
for all my eyeshadow. So if you don't have this blending brush, you want to get it because it's going to save you money to only have this one brush instead of having a whole bunch of eye brushes. Routine chores and taking it easy. That's good. I love it. The weekend, everyone should take it a little bit easier, right? Or a lot of easier. Got to rest. Got to rest up. Isn't that such a pretty color, you guys? Look at that. So this blends really good, gets in the crease really good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this shimmery woodsy one. I'm just going to bring it down. Bring it down to the rest of the lid. Okay. And then I am going to go with, let's see. I'm going to go in with this color right here, like this light one. And I'm going to um, use the same brush. And I'm going to do in the inner corner, okay? Because I want to brighten up the, the inner corner of my eyes can get dark sometimes. So I want to brighten it up, okay? And then I'm going to put a little bit right here on my lid down here, okay? And then you can always kind of blend all of it together. Bam. That's it. I know, isn't this palette gorgeous? I'm so in love. The ro I call it the Rose Petal Palette. It's so pretty. I'll have to check. I'm not sure if we still have that. You went grocery store shopping and now packing. Where, what are you packing for? Tell us. Okay. Now, I'm going to do my eyeliner. So I just start the mid lash out. And I just flick it out. I always go upward, you guys. You want to go upward. Because if you go downward, you're going to make your eyes droopy. And you don't want your eyes droopy. You want them all perky, right? Up and open. So I just flick it up a little bit. Oops. Okay, something else really exciting I want to share with you guys is that this month, we don't always have this, so it's a big deal. This month, you guys, if you join Unique with the Presenters Kit, you get $20 in Unique Cash, which is amazing, amazing. And then also, you get access to our whole custom Uology line for a really, really good price, you save like over $60. You're, oh, you're moving. You're hoping to still stay in the Riviera. Oh my goodness. I know, I love the Riviera. That's where I live. I love it, love it. That's right, we're neighbors. Okay, so you guys, this is the 4D mascara, my most favorite mascara in the entire world. And I start at the root and I wiggle and then I roll it up. There's a little bit of a learning curve on this mascara because you don't apply it like regular mascaras, you guys, because the application is key. Because look at all these lashes you get if you do it the right way. You want to wiggle and you want to roll, roll it up. And it has these Y fibers, okay? These Y fibers, when you roll it, are going to attach to your lashes, giving you more, okay? And so it's really important. Look at that. Hi, Missy. How are you doing today? But look at where did those lashes come from? And look how good it separates them, it lengthens. I'm rolling it up. Oops. And then for the baby bottom lashes, swoop them on over to the side.
I'm doing good. Thank you, Missy. Bam. Look at those, you guys. Look at those lashes. Those lashes. Okay, so now I'm going to do the other side. Okay. I'm like, I don't know if I could ever use another mascara again. I just love this one so much. And like I said, you want to make sure you apply it correctly. You wiggle and you roll it up. And you guys, you want to make sure you do that because if you don't, it's not going to get the same results. Bam, that's right, Morgan. <laughs> Bam. It's like, where did the, all these lashes come from? You saw me, you guys. You saw the little crumbs. You saw the crumbs. Where were they? And now they're here. That's crazy, you guys. Forget the falsies when you got this 4D. Okay. Hi, Lacey. Oh, okay, yes, Terry. That's right. There is a little bit of a learning curve because if you don't wiggle and roll, it's not going to apply the same because that happened to me. Um, when I do the wiggle and roll, I just see the length and the difference it makes. And then when you apply it like regular mascara, it is not, it's not the same. It's almost like a different, a whole different product almost. And that's why, and that's why too I like to do these videos is because it's really helpful to see how to apply things. You know what I mean? So there is a learning curve. You just have to be patient and just keep using it, keep using it. And then when you get it down, you'll be like, okay, I get it. <laughs> you love the foundation stick. I'm so glad. It is amazing. Amazing. I love the foundation stick. It's one of my go-tos. Like I keep it in my purse now and... It is takes the place of um, concealer and foundation, so you don't even need to do concealer. And it's an easy summer step. If you want full coverage during the summer, it's going to make it so your life so much easier. So much easier. Okay, so as you can see, when I add a second coat, you guys... I'm not starting to the root like I did before. Look at that. These lashes are crazy. Um, look at that, you guys. Isn't that crazy? Look at these lashes. <laughs> Anyways, I love it. I love it, I love it. But yes, keep practicing with it. You'll get it down and I bet you you'll love it. Oh, what color is my eyeshadow? Okay, so my eyeshadow I use is this beautiful beloved palette. And thank you, Terry. Hi, Jennifer. This is the eyeshadow I used. So in the crease, I use this one. I know that these colors look intimidating, but when you put them on gently and you put them on lightly, they're really flattering. So you can wear beautiful, gorgeous colors while still having a natural kind of look. So I use this one as crazy and dark as it looks, right? I did that in the crease and the, the corner. And then I put a little bit of this wood. So this one's irre irresistible and then wood, right? And then to put in the inner corner and then a little bit here on the, the lower lid, I used this color, which, uh-oh, one of my colors fell out. Um, I forgot what color that's called. So, 
I'll be able to figure it out. If you want it, I'll be able to figure it out. Okay, so I forgot what the title of this video was. I think it was about the new products coming out, so I'm sorry I got distracted. But um, I'm going to do some lips really quick. So while I'm doing this, let me think. The new, sorry, there's a fly. The new beach set that came out, and I didn't get it yet. I'm going to order it. I have a pre-order list going. But it comes with lip butters that are so healthy for you, nourishing <sighs> nourishing to your lips as shea butter, as coconut oil, I think jojoba oil, just everything that's going to be so good for you. And then it comes with a setting powder slash setting spray that's an all-in-one. You could use it for your, um, for both. And then also you get your choice of bronzer, blush, or highlighter. And they all have a cooling sensation. So these products are temporary. You won't be able to get them later. So it's just for this summer. They all have a cooling. I think it may be due to some um, peppermint kind of in there. Sorry, there's so many flies. It has like a, a cooling sensation, so it's really nice for when it's hot out. Um, oops. And let's see what lipstick. You guys help me pick what lipstick I should do with this. So I'm going to show you all the lipsticks, and you're going to pick which one for me if you want. You love the color on my eyes and lips. Oh, thank you. I So far, I just did a lip liner, which is called... Howdy, so it's our, our um, here's the color of it. And then the eyeshadow is these pretty colors. These two. Okay, so help me pick my lipstick. So number one is, hi Tammy. Number one, hi Jackie, is called Stuck Up. And I'm going to put them here for you guys to see. So here is number one, stuck up. Okay? So you can put the number that you want below. So there's number one, it's stuck up. And then number two is called vein. So here's vein. I love that one. I love them all, but especially that one. Um, here is upper class. And Luke's gotten into most of these. Upper class. And then here is Well To Do. It's more of a nude color. And you guys, the opulence lipsticks are like my favorite for the summertime. Ooh, it got blurry because they're kind of moisturizing and I just love that feeling. Here is Ritzy. It's like a pink. And then there is Prodigal, which is almost like an orangey kind of color okay so I'm gonna go through them again so if you could comment below which one you think I should do and I'll put it on so the first one I need to check <laughs> is stuck up so here is stuck up so if you think I should do that one you could put one stuck up and then if you think I should do vein which is this one that's two or if I should do upper class which is three you like the well-to-do with the natural look. Ooh, I love that. Um, and then well-to-do, which is for natural look. And then uh, five is ritzy. It's this Barbie pink, I like to call it. And there's prodigal, which is the last one, number six. So tell me which one you think I should do. And whichever one has the most votes, I'll do it. And I don't know why there's so many, like, gnats. <laughs> So anyways, let me know. Okay, so Terry says well to do, and then we have number one and number three. One, two, which one's three? Okay, three is um, three is upper class, and then we have number one, which is the stuck up, and then we have the well to do. So I need one more person to vote one of those so I know which one to pick. <laughs> so let me know which one. Here's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, Jennifer says six, and Sherry says five. Five, and here's six, 
Okay, so I need one more person to break it. So if somebody says, which one's well to do? One, two, three, four. If we get another four, one, three, five, or six, then that's the one we're going to go with. One, two, three, four, five, six. Joel, pick a number between one and six. He said three. So we're going to go with one, two, three, which is the upper class. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do upper class. Thank you guys for voting. <laughs> As you can see, most of my lipsticks are not the right shape because Luke got into them. So that's what we're, we'll do. Yeah, Morgan, you won. <laughs> so these lipsticks feel super moisturizing and they stay on really good. So even if you sweat or whatever, and you look at your lips, they're still going to be looking really, really nice. There we go. So this one is uh, upper class. I really, really love it. It's like a shimmery one. And actually, it still looks pretty natural with my look. So this one and this one... And I feel like the well-to-do are more of a naturally kind of look. So, anyways, I love it. Thanks for helping me out, guys. And then what I'll do is just add a little bit of blush, and then that will be the whole look. So, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Or if you need any help with the color match or what shades. If you want to look at all the, the lipstick shades that we have, let me know. I can show you because they are so, so pretty. Um... Put a little bit of blush. Thank you, Jennifer. Okay. I love this brush, you guys. This is like one side I have my concealer, and then the other side I have like a, a blush brush. Okay. So I do a little triangle for my blush because of my face shape is round. So... You want to apply your blush according to your face shape. You have upper class too? I love it. It's so pretty. Okay, you guys. That is about it. Thank you for joining. I appreciate it. And I hope you all take care. Bye, you guys.